Hello folks, uh, welcome to uh, part 2 of this uh, live stream on uh, Twitch Flight today from uh, Edinburgh to uh, London, uh, Stansted So in part 1 uh, we go all the way to uh, the cruise and uh, we are now um, about uh, I would say uh, uh, about Seventy miles uh, north of uh, north northwest of uh, Manchester. To then uh, from uh, Manchester uh, pick up the uh, Laurel uh, Three Golf arrival and to uh, Stansted, expecting uh, runway uh, two two in uh, Stansted and uh, the weather. We can uh, have a look as well at the weather. I thought that uh, you could get the weather with uh, GSX. Anyway, I'll get back to. Uh, uh, I'll think about that. I get the weather on uh, Active Sky next, which is the weather provider. That would be useful. So the latest uh, weather we have for Stansted. As uh, actually uh, 350 at 6, overcast at 2300 feet, 5 degrees 1025. And uh, the forecast is actually just uh, changed, uh, that's all changed actually. And that's now 020 at 10, broken at uh, 2000 feet, and the uh, tempo until 9 o'clock, which basically is finished now. Like drizzle, mist, broken. Okay. So it's gonna be actually a runway zero 04. Okay. So we'll uh, change that in the uh, computer. So we we'll go to the flight plan. That's good. That makes me. Uh, that makes me work a little bit. So we go to the flight plan and uh, arrival. Now we're gonna pick up ILS 04. Let's uh, insert it. Now let's see what the sequence of the points is. So go still the restriction at uh, rugby, flyable 200, creepy flyable 150, and uh, bombo 250 knots, parkway, diesel. CI04. So after Barkway, we'll do some uh, radar vectors by ourselves. So that looks uh, satisfactory to me. Now we'll go back to our progress. I just now have a transition from uh, Barkway to the ILS. I'll actually, see if we can. Uh, if I can find it. So HSS arrival and via low. Let's see what happens now. Backway, yeah. Loro intercept, top of descent. Descent, yeah, that's better. So what I will do as I will go this uh, delete all these points unless there's another way to do it I don't know so clear on the flight plan discontinuity there's surely there's another way of doing it uh, clear on the low clear on the intercept clear on the discontinuity So Bombay Parkway, actually we can look at it on the uh, display there with the uh, plan mode, similar to the Boeing. Very welcome. Working on the journey. 
So let's see if we can cycle through the points, but like the point. Yeah, we can. Yeah, so the arrival there makes sense. From Barkway, 08196 Lima, so we got some kind of downwind. And then for the ILS, uh, 04. Okay, so that's uh, all good. Approaching uh, Manchester now, so we're gonna have to think about uh, the decent uh, the approach preparation. I'm not sure the copilot will do the checklist, so I messed up the sequence there. Anyway, we'll uh, jump back onto the computer. Performance page. No, uh, no, next phase. So in the descent, we'll do uh, two nine two knots and seven seven, which is fine. And the Kenich for Stansted was one zero two five. So unlike the Boeing, uh, you set all the approach information directly onto the computer. So QNH, temperature is uh, 5 degrees. And it calculates everything for you. The wind is uh, 020 at... Uh, no, no, 350 at 6. Sorry, 020 was the uh, forecast. 350 at 6. Transition altitude is uh, 6000 as well. The V approach is 130 with full flaps. Fair enough. And Barrow, I think, is uh, 560 from memory or 550. It doesn't really matter uh, for today. Uh, next phase. Okay. So that is set. And uh, I think that's. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Auto break. Okay. Medium. Ticas are messed up. That's it. So you see, by switching off the Ticas, uh, exactly. Uh, knows that the TCAS is not on and uh, it wants to uh, it wants me to put the TCAS back on which is fantastic. Uh, yeah there's nothing else I can think of. Uh, everything is in the uh, computer. As I said you enter the minimums there and the VRF is uh, or the V approach is uh, calculated uh, automatically by uh, by the computer. Full flaps as well as uh, planned, and uh, the approach is in. It's uh, a bit like the triple seven. It's gonna tune the uh, ILS uh, automatically. There's no uh, pilot input, from what I understand. So it's uh, it's all good. I think that uh, this uh, symbol here is to start uh, the descent the point at which you start the descent to make the restriction uh, at uh, Rugby Flight Level 200 so set uh, Flight Level uh, 200 and uh, from what I understand uh, once we are ready to stop the descent to start the descent sorry we'll uh, press the button and it should uh, manage the descent at the uh, EFB yeah the EFB is uh, showing me a uh, top of descent as well uh, fairly soon so oh 
I'll just uh, play around uh, with the uh, ECAM uh, on top of this and distance one mile. Oh, no, I don't have time to play that. Uh, yeah, because the top of descent is actually coming now. So we'll press forward towards the computer or towards the panel. And we still have the dot and it's uh, descent here. Yeah. So it's uh, managed uh, descent by the computer. I understand this is the uh, altitude deviation indicator, that little dot here. So the uh, autopilot should capture the dot and then uh, fly uh, along the dot uh, in the descent. Thrust, although they are in the climb uh, detent, and they come back to uh, idle. I think uh, also from what I understand the uh, thrust uh, lever stay in the uh, climb uh, detent and it's only uh, during the flare where it tells you retard, retard uh, that uh, you actually retard the, uh, the thrust levers and the retard, retard uh, autocollite is actually to remind uh, the pilot to actually close the thrust levers because the aircraft uh, tends to uh, make you forget that there's actually a thrust lever there uh, because you don't see it move and you don't uh, uh, after takeoff there's only one position and just stays there so it's just a reminder to the pilot to actually close the thrust levers uh, uh, just uh, before uh, uh, landing during the, the flare Hello by prison, how are you doing today? Hello uh, Atemka Hello, hello Hope you're doing well today On this uh, beautiful uh, Sunday So at the moment it's uh, not uh, keeping the the Vinav or well the, the decent uh, path very well The speed is uh, has bled off to about 278 knots or something like that. And, uh, but it is on the path, or on the descent path. I'm not really sure what the terms, uh, what the Airbus terms are, so uh, you'll uh, you'll forgive me for that. As I said, uh, I am uh, working, uh, trying to work out uh, all things Airbus at the moment, so. Please bear with me. But so far, so good. So, as we are in the descent, maybe it would be a good idea to do a decent uh, checklist. Uh, the checklist there with the co-pilot and everything is, uh, is gone. I messed it up. So uh, let's have a look. Approach and landing briefing perform minimum self altitude landing elevation. Uh, is this on the? Uh yeah, it's on the uh, ECAM landing elevation auto 400 feet. That's correct. Okay. And uh, altimeters uh, were well, still standard, and then it would be a uh, 1025. Which is uh, which is fine. Uh, what's next? Decent approach. MCD US set. Air speed brakes. Nav accuracy. Positioning. Barrel ref. Okay, so the barrel ref is actually set in the uh, MCDU, and uh, I guess when uh, you press the uh, uh, this button here. The uh, ultimate button it will be uh, automatically uh, preset behind, so, which is actually cool as well. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. And then 10,000 feet, put the lights, check the cam. Okay. So I'm not sure once the thrust, now now it's oscillating between thrust, idle and speed. So now it's speed, I understand it's going to add a bit of uh, thrust 
to uh, to pick up the speed. But otherwise, when uh, uh, the um, indication uh, here is for uh, thrust uh, idle, I don't know if you can actually uh, have uh, some sort of control like on the Boeing, even when the uh, uh, on the 777 uh, or on the uh, 737 when the thrust uh, mode is either uh, on the 777 uh, hold or on the 737 arm if you can actually grab the thrust levers and add a little bit of uh, thrust uh, yourself manually I don't know if you can do that on this uh, on this aircraft uh, because at the moment we are on the, on the climb uh, detent uh, I don't think you can move from there but that's uh, done to be corrected of course Actually, if we go down to 150, I don't know if it's gonna level off here, yeah, it's leveling off. So speed out, and uh, now it's continuing the descent. So this would be uh, the opportunity for it to uh, add up a bit of thrust to uh, come back on the, on the speed, on the scheduled speed. Uh, yeah, we're still in uh, managed mode. The checklist, unfortunately, as I said earlier on, is uh, kaput. So, the first thing uh, in the decent preparation we'll do uh, is to put the CPR sign back to on. That's one thing done. Yeah, and as I said in uh, part one, uh, uh, next time I'll uh, I'll try to uh, lower some of the settings as well uh, for the for the stream so that uh, there's uh, less uh, s stress on the CPU and therefore maybe uh, slightly uh, better frames. The uh, aircraft itself is a little bit known for some uh, frame uh, issues. So to time. Anyway, this is uh, great fun. It's, uh, it's a cool aircraft, actually. It's very, very nice. And, uh, it's really, really fun. We'll continue the descent to uh, available uh, 70. I uh, can't remember if it's uh, set by Parkway. Go to flight plan. Parkway. Is it 49? Alright. So we go to Parkway and uh, put uh, 070 by Parkway and uh, 220 knots. Now we've got it here Clippy Bombo 250 knots and then uh, Parkway 70. So the constraint, unlike the uh, Boeing, don't uh, show up in uh, in uh, bold uh, character or bigger character. You just go like this uh, little uh, uh, magenta star to indicate uh, that uh, these uh, two figures here are restrictions. So out at uh, Clippy, it's uh, turning away. They're continuing the descent again. Very nice. It's all nicely controlled. On the uh, EFB, it's uh, following the progress of the flight nicely as well. Uh, the one thing I didn't do was uh, change the uh, approach. said there was a change of uh, runways at least changing what was uh, expected so 
now it's uh, zero 04. And then uh, the taxi in as well. to uh, from runway zero four to gate uh, two two go back to arrival and see what happens from there so at the moment I'm uh, oscillating between uh, Let's say uh, 18 uh, frames per second to uh, 25. Uh, so as I said, uh, the uh, streaming is quite CPU intensive and uh, uh, should uh, also uh, decrease some of the uh, flight simulator settings and uh, Active Sky uh, next settings as well. So the aircraft should uh, decerate uh, 250 knots by uh, Bombo, so we'll see how that works out. It's uh, kind of uh, shallow descent at the moment, uh, between uh, in this uh, section between uh, Clippy and the Barkway. Clippy was supposed to be a 150, and the Barkway is uh, flight level 70, so because the distance is uh, so big, uh, the uh, computer calculates a geometric uh, path and uh, well, therefore it's a shallow uh, descent and to maintain uh, the speed uh, the uh, autopilot and the uh, auto flight system is uh, adding up a bit of uh, uh, thrust So it's very good because uh, you don't have to always uh, match up the heading and uh, or the track on this aircraft. Uh, it's, uh, it's all done uh, automatically and if I was to uh, pull the knob here, therefore take control of the heading, then uh, the, the heading would be uh, already uh, matched with the uh, current uh, aircraft heading. So that's a really nice uh, feature. So approaching uh, for level 100 fairly soon yeah so we'll set the lights uh, so that goes on I can go on and, uh, those uh, yeah doesn't really matter let's uh, double check the uh, documentation landing lights cabin signs cabin secure Engine mode uh, selector if it's turbulent to ignition, but it's not. And check for remaining status messages in uh, upper ECAM. Landing data reviewed and D. So in the uh, ECAM we've got seat belts, no smoking, auto brake medium and uh, landing light. There's nothing else uh, showing. So 250 knots we have now, which is good. So let's see what's, uh, what's going to happen there. We're not very far from uh, Barkway now. So we're still in uh, nav mode following the uh, flight plan. Manage descent and uh, speed. So I'm not sure if we can actually. Uh, I 
activate the approach phase. I'll wait until after Barkway and then I'll set uh, the uh, LS as well on the uh, FCU here, what it was called. Take a last uh, weather update. Nine twenty three five zero at six, so still the same one zero two five. Okay, so that was an update, and the update is similar. So happy days. And the wind is uh, northerly up here, seventeen knots. But that's it, it's gonna get to a fly level 7-0 and then I should reduce the speed uh, to 220. So yeah, in a sense it's quite good that the uh, checklist, uh, that I bugged the checklist because uh, I'll be able to uh, kind of uh, work out uh, what needs to be done. So that's... Uh, that's quite good in a sense. So now I'm gonna take control a little bit more of the autopilot if I if I can do that. So I'll go uh, pull the altitude uh, knob and get that open descent here for the last 100 feet. Then uh, pull the speed, the knob speed, speed knob. Sorry. And for the moment, we'll keep the navigation uh, managed by the aircraft. So, 7-0 at Barkway, 220 knots. And we'll let the aircraft turn by itself and then uh, take, uh, take the heading. I will uh, give me the opportunity to check that uh, once you take the the heading uh, from uh, the FCU, uh, the uh, heading bug is actually uh, matching the uh, current uh, heading. Trying to navigate towards this uh, waypoint here, back we are 8 miles. So we'll go down to uh, 3000 feet. Uh, hit, uh, well, not pull the knob again. And uh, set the QNH 102. Oh no. 1025. And uh, now we'll take the heading as well. 208. 210. Now we're going down to 3000 feet. So take the uh, LS and then activate the f uh, approach phase. Confirm. Oh, yeah, and uh, maybe that's when it would uh, set 1025. So we got India CRI code Delta identified here, and the frequency is correct, and we got DME as well. And uh, the inbound uh, track. Well, that's all correct, which is nice. So, very impressive actually the way it works. Uh, what's, uh, what's next on the checklist? Approach. So, that's done. And then basically, it's configuring the aircraft. So, go for flap one. So if we have a look at the speeds, um, the clean speed uh, is 190, uh, slack retraction 175 and full 138, the approach 130. So actually um, I'm not going to fly the uh, approach in um, managed mode, I understand you can do it in managed mode but I'm going to do it in uh, 
manual mode, if that's the term. Um, we'll see how that works out. The one and only approach I've uh, I've done uh, before was uh, in uh, manual mode, so I need to read about uh, uh, managed mode for for the approach. I'm not so entirely uh, familiar with uh, uh, the flaps and the speed schedule, so so we we'll reduce to the dot speed there, which is uh, a bit like the uh, up speed on uh, the Boeing. Uh, we'll turn, 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 turn. turn. Three zero. Take uh, flaps one, and now we can go to the uh, S speed. Ninety knots will do. Take uh, the intercept zero seven five and uh, arm the approach and uh, let's uh, let's wait and see how it works out. All right, got cat three localizer is actually captured already. Uh, glide slope armed and uh, yeah, all is good. I think it should be all right. It should work out nicely. Got flaps one. And the glide slope is live. Then we go flap two and gear down, I think. More drag. Okay, it's coming. Flap two, gear down. Reduce the speed as well, that would be a good idea. Take one sixty. So still lock and light sub capture and the missed approach is uh, 3,000 feet if I'm not mistaken. 2,500. That's uh, checked. And that's the spoilers arm, yeah. the way back and go flaps full and the V approach was 129 Full here, uh, maybe add up a little bit here, 34 maybe, does it look so fit close to this? So you got full flaps, gear down, um, the spoilers are armed, uh, I think, I think it's looking good. A bit of uh, wind from the left. Yeah, I think I'm set. If I'm not, I'll make a fool of myself. Alright, so we'll uh, disconnect the autopilot. I love the sound of it. Uh, no. 
That's not what I wanted to do. It's the wrong button. Autopilot off. And uh, let's try to land uh, this uh, great aircraft. 1,000. Let's check. So it's uh, perfectly trimmed, perfectly uh, stable on the ILS. I've uh, not touched any th any uh, controls yet. So I'm doing a great job. I think the more you touch, the more it messes it up. Five hundred. This would be the second landing. 400. Okay, let's land mode. 100 above. 300. 100 above. Uh, the frames are making life difficult, like Minimum always. Minimum 200. I'm trying to land. Hopefully, it's gonna work out. 100. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 10, 5. Long landing, long landing. Uh, still within the touchdown zone, the system is going on long landing, long landing, but still within the touchdown zone. It was a little bit long, but for second landing is not too bad actually. So here we are in uh, sunny uh, Stansted. I'll vacate uh, Papa Romeo to the right. The co-pilot is uh, back on. Fantastic. APU on. Thank you very much. Wow. So we'll go on to uh, Juliet. And then uh, taxi to stand, uh, I believe, 22. So we'll do the gate. And gate 22, number 5. Now follow me. And uh, let's see what happens on the other side. And right now he's doing the handling <laughs> for EasyJet. Fantastic. APU available, yeah, Antica standby, ground spoilers still armed. Once I finish the turn, I'll uh, put the spoilers away. So it's not this apron, it's the following apron on the right. Actually, during the cruise, I forgot to uh, use the, the little table. <laughs> oh well. So the spoilers are disarmed or whatever the term is. Uh, the APU is on. Master switch on, so we can start the APU. Oh no, it's available. Sorry. Okay. So, it's not this right, but the next uh, apron on the right. Hello, uh, Jess uh, Riley. Thank you very much for sticking around with me on the uh, approach there. It's very much appreciated. 
It's only my uh, second uh, full flight on the 319, so I'm uh, getting to uh, grips with this uh, great aircraft, actually. So then we'll go on to uh, Bravo, the uh, east line. And then stand uh, 22. I oh, know that's the west line. Right. Twenty four left. Yes, yeah, very nice, very nice indeed to fly. I'm in a learning curve at the moment, so I'm not fully uh, understanding the way it works, but uh, it's good fun. So turning on to stand is uh, switching off all the lights, which is nice. Uh, GSX is actually only doing the grant services but there's no marshal up so we look at the guidance system there to make the most out of it I uh, will stop so I'll set the parking brake and uh, that's it. Welcome to London Stunstead shutdown. One engine. Uh, the APU, what's the state with this actually? It's on and available. Well, I must be ready to take over then. <laughs> Love that noise. It's fantastic. Let's see if I shut down the engine and everything cuts off then. Oh, the APU is taken over. Yeah, the APU is taken over, that's fine. So, the beacon can go off. All the lights are off here. The seat belt can go off. The PTU. Nice. Is that the Power transfer unit by any chance, is that correct? Maybe you bleed to give some air in the cabin, I suppose. Yep. Um, no smoking can stay on. Uh, that's it. Back in the fly deck, parking brake, APU bleed and Tika standby, okay. Uh, and shut down. After landing, ground spoilers, flaps, engine mode selectors, landing lights, anti ice, APU, brake temperature. After landing, checklist, okay. And parking parking brake, ground contact, electrical power. Okay, it's uh, on, the Jeep, on the APU. Engine master off. Oh. Uh, well, both engines are off and the uh, master switch is uh, normal. Beacon off, parking brake, clock, anti-ice, APU bleed, fuel pumps off. Oh yeah, good idea. Uh, fuel pumps, they are up here. Off, 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 off. Where's this manual? mode selector maybe we'll leave that off 
APU bleed uh, yeah will come off APU master switch off external pow power yeah maybe we need some external power uh, no I'm not flying the return because um, I don't want to uh, to push my luck too far. I've already had uh, a couple of attempts this morning to uh, to do the uh, uh, to launch the stream, and uh, I managed to uh, do the whole flight. So I'll, I'll stick to that for the moment. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to open the doors and uh, disembark our lovely uh, customers. And uh, open the uh, cargo as well, and the cargo here, and the aft left, and then plug in some uh, external power there. Put the cones, why not, and the chucks in place, and uh, we'll uh, have a look up here at the ground power and uh, we can switch that off and that can go off thank you you did a great job thank you for a wonderful flight uh, the ideas I guess can go off thank you good night and uh, that must be pretty much it Thank you very much, goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. No smoking sign maybe, but doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, that's Thank it. You. Good night. Bye. And the uh, Aerosoft says, uh, end of the checklist. Um, batteries off. Well, we still have passengers on, so not gonna switch the batteries off. And then uh, last uh, item much, on the checklist, goodbye. beer. Cold and uh, deserved. Yeah. I think I deserve one. Well, it's a bit early, but uh, yeah, I we'll forget about that actually. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for sticking around today. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the stream. Um, I'm not gonna fly the return uh, leg today, but I'll uh, I'll uh, possibly do it uh, another time. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you like the stream, uh, you can hit the follow button. And um, we will uh, see you soon. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.